Hey guys, Brian here with another Clash of Clans video. And today I wanted to talk about this defense again and then also do an attack for you guys. Um, as you can see, my uh, natural defense is uh, kind of working. I'm trying to get all these ferns around the edges and I'm up to 1, 2, two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 up up there at the top. You can't really see it. 8, 9. So I'm up to nine of these. This one I'm going to have to get rid of because it's not where I want it to. But, um, yeah, eventually I want to have them all around the edge. I think that would be awesome. It would give it kind of a different look. I'm definitely going to keep my Christmas trees in there. I have three of them, which was pretty rare. Uh, you guys got these from the around Christmas time if you were playing then. If not, I don't think there's any other way to get them. And I hope they release more stuff like that. Like, next year I hope it's like a different kind of tree. So then it will be like kind of rare and it will show like oh you've played this game for a while and stuff like that I think that'd be cool like even a Halloween thing if they had like uh, a new kind of type of troop for only that time like bats because they came out with that one spell Santa spell or Santa surprise but it ended up being super super powerful and you could take out a town hall with pretty much three of them so a lot of people would just do that and get all the trophies they wanted um, as you can see I'm upgrading my gold mines I am trying to get all my collectors up to level 11. Gold mine's going to be first, of course, because I want to get these walls up. So I'm working on that currently. People ask me why I don't get five builders. Because it's 20 bucks for another builder, and no thank you. Um, oh yeah, and my base, you guys, it won a couple more attacks, as you can see. Uh... Not very many trophies, though. These people just attacked with one. That's the defense I lost. And then I had one guy say that, oh, that's the only defense you've lost. You've lied on all the rest of them. No. Down here, I had this base, too. And it, look. Look how many of them were one. All the way up until then. And this was the only guy that beat me in another base. I didn't have the same base back then. This was a different base with the P.E.K.K.A.S. And so you can see I lost with that base a lot. Because I think I had the town hall out and I was farming. But as soon as I put that base together, or the base I have now, you can see I won all these battles right here. Um, this one I lost with the other defense I showed you guys in my last video. Doesn't look too well. And then this one I lost with 11. Means Andy has a level 5 clan castle. Which is a lot of troops. And then these ones were just 1-1-1, one, 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 stuff like that. But my base, base holds up pretty well. Uh, well. Let's watch this, guys. He tried to get revenge on, on me, obviously, because of his trophy count was so low. But let's see what it looks like. Starts out with the Giants. He's obviously going to just go for my Town Hall right away. And we're just going to watch him epically fail at it. So, yeah, there are my troops donated by my clan. Hey, guys, I have some of you guys also saying it's hard to get in my clan. Um... It's always going to be hard. It's always pretty much full. If someone leaves, someone's replacing right back in. I'm sorry, guys. Nothing I can really do about it. You just keep trying, keep trying, and eventually you'll probably get in. And I'll try to kick people who are inactive and stuff like that. But yeah, he wasn't smart right there, putting all his archers in one place because my level 7 wizard tower is just taking them out. People ask me, was it worth it to spend 200 bucks to upgrade all my mortars and wizard's tower? Heck yeah, look at this. The wizard's tower just owned them all. One shot, easily. So yeah, I think it was definitely worth it. I'm still working on these walls. I got a couple more on the inside done. I want to get these all to level 7, and then we can start working our way up to level 8. I might gem my way up to level 8 walls. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. Um, but yeah, let's do an attack for you guys. I got 10 dragons ready and a couple spells. Uh, let's get revenge on someone today. We'll do something a little bit different. Uh, let's see this guy. Oh, he has a shield. What about this guy? This guy? Oh, here we go. Let's see what we're working with. He has P.E.K.K.A., so he might be a little bit harder. All right, this is a joke, though. 36 trophies, I'll take it. Um, let's take out an air defense. With my three, where's his best one? I'm going to take out these three, and then I'm going to release our, this one up here. Where's his clan castle? Does he not have a clan castle? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to release my Barbarian King. Yeah, he has troops. Okay, so I'm going to wait until all his troops comes out, come out, and then I'm going to drop this right there. So you can take out all his troops. Look at that. All right, now this will take out the air defense, hopefully. 
Oh, there's his fourth air defense. I didn't even see that one. Um, hopefully my dragons can do what they do best. He's got those air mines. I should have released a dragon over by the air defense guys. Uh, not, not a lot of uh, elixir and stuff at this base, but 36 trophies. How can I deny that? That's definitely the way to go, guys, if you want to get more trophies, is to attack those bases who have attacked you recently. Get revenge on them, stuff like that. Come on, take out that air defense. Take it out. You can do it. Yes, my dragon won. So two more air defenses to go. One more air defense to go. Very cool. I think I should be able to do this one. Um, I don't know if this guy's redesigned his base or if he's just retarded, but this is probably the worst base design I've ever seen. Um, I guess he's trying to make people think, oh, I can take all your elixir and stuff like that, and then the mortars and stuff like that will take it out. Oh, it didn't really work. I used to be like this, though. I used to think that I could uh, put my stuff all to the side and they couldn't attack, but they can lay it down on that little green area down there. Come on, get that air defense, dragons. Do something with your life. Three dragons left, guys. Two dragons left. Come on. If I get that air defense, I think I can win it. Of course you go for the gold storage. Oh, there we go. Come on. No, these archers might take it out. Yeah, th there's no way I'm going to 100% this now, but I might as well get some more elixir and stuff. One dragon. Oh, man. I didn't see his fourth air defense. That is my fault for sucking. I should have saw that fourth air defense up there. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to analyze these bases a little bit harder next time. Go for the archer tower. Yeah, definitely not a good base setup for this guy. All right, so we got a easy 24 trophies. Awesome. I'll take the trophies. Cool, and that puts us up to 2,038. Um, I was at 2,300 at one point. Uh, what I realized though is like it's getting a lot harder at these levels than it used to be. At 2,000, you could just attack someone with. 200 level 5 or level 6 archers and easily one maybe two star them now you're getting bases that are better than mine they're maxed out they got level 5 teslas all around stuff like that um yeah so like the bases have definitely gotten a lot harder since then which is i guess a good thing because that means people are getting better at the game um i'm not really sure if i can't even see my rank still i don't think let's see what i am I think they took that out. You used to be able to see what rank you are. I might be able to still do it. After 250. Yeah, they took out... You can't see your rank anymore, which is pretty frustrating. If you guys know a way, then let me know. Uh, that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for today, you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think of the video. Uh, comment, subscribe. My iTunes giveaway, you guys. It was one... My number was 34. I will show you guys on the pad, the same pad I used last time on my next giveaway. And I'm going to do that once I reach 2,000 subscribers. My subscribers keep on jumping up. I want to thank you guys. I, I'll keep posting this content for you. I'll take your suggestions. That's what I try to do. Uh, a lot of you guys are talking about defense suggestions. Look at this base. It is, I don't care what y'all say. Right now, it is the best base. Okay, you guys can argue with me all day. I don't care. These attacks, yeah, some of them aren't like up to par, but when we get start getting those higher level attacks on me, I will show you this base rocks. Um, I do need to upgrade my defenses. Like, I'm sure you guys probably, if you're the same level as me, have better defenses than a level 6 archer tower. Like, that's embarrassing. Definitely need to upgrade that. Because I think the max you can do with these is 72, and I'm only doing 35 with them. Uh, 72 damage, that is. I definitely need to upgrade that, so I'm sure if you guys even have have even better defenses, your bases will do a lot better than me. And I saw one of my clan mates actually copy me, which I thought was pretty cool. I think this guy did, the number one guy. Yeah, see, he's got the same base as me. Um, so that means some of you guys are actually being receptive and watching these videos. This is a really, really good base, you guys, and I'll try to show you more. I did try out other bases, and I'm open to suggestions. I'll be looking for bases, and I'll change them around, and I'll show you what works and what doesn't. But for now, this is my go-to base. I will be using this one most of the time or coming back to it if one does not work. Um, but yeah, you guys take it easy, all right? I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, and you guys take it easy.